Breaking news. Pittsburgh Steelers fans are about to receive a barrage of last-minute news that will shake the world of American football. It has been confirmed that Odell Beckham Jr., one of the sport's most dazzling stars, has signed a contract that sheds light on the team's financial projections in the upcoming free agency. In this fast-paced free agency universe, the list of wide receivers is dwindling rapidly. Although Tyler Boyd, whose skill had caught the Steelers' interest, still remains on the market, Odell Beckham Jr.'s name has been crossed off the list of available options. Additionally, players of the caliber of DJ Chark and Michael Gallup have also signed lucrative deals in the past week, leaving few elite options for teams in need of talent at that position. What does Beckham's contract structure reveal to us? Surprise, surprise. Although he pocketed the whopping sum of $15 million guaranteed last year, this year his base salary is reduced to just $3 million, with additional incentives that could elevate its value to approximately $8 million. What does this imply for the Steelers? Essentially, if they wish to court players like Boyd or Michael Thomas in free agency, they must be prepared to initiate negotiations with similar or even higher figures. However, it appears that the Steelers' management is leaning more towards the trade market than free agency. One name that has emerged in internal discussions is Brandon Ayuk, a talented receiver from the San Francisco 49ers. Ayuk has drawn attention by sending signals through social media to Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin, suggesting a possible union between them. But at what cost? It is rumored that the 49ers had previously requested a first-round pick and receiver Zay Jones in a previous draft, an offer that the Jacksonville team considered completely disproportionate. Faced with the urgent need to bolster their arsenal of receivers, the Steelers are at a strategic crossroads. Beckham, despite not maintaining the same dazzling form of a decade ago, remains a palpable threat on the field. However, his recent injury history and inconsistent production since 2019 raise serious doubts about his ability to maintain optimal performance in the near future. With the clock ticking down and pressure mounting to improve their aerial game, the Steelers are exploring all possible avenues, whether through free agency or trades with other teams. However, with options dwindling in free agency and potential costs in the trade market reaching stratospheric levels, the team faces a monumental challenge in their quest to reinforce their wide receiver core. Excitement is at its peak, and updates in this fascinating NFL market are unmissable. Stay tuned for more details and updates. Najee Harris in the sights of the Cowboys as a potential trade target. In the vibrant landscape of the NFL, Najee Harris's name resonates like an echo among fans and analysts alike. The Pittsburgh Steelers have made a decision that has shaken the foundations of the football world by opting not to exercise the fifth-year option for this talented running back, leaving his fate shrouded in uncertainty. However, the Dallas Cowboys emerge as a possible gateway to a new chapter in Harris's career. The Cowboys, known for their thirst for victory and determination on the field, face a pressing need, a running back who shines on his own. With the departure of Tony Pollard, the urgency of having a reliable ground game has become an obsession for the team. This is where Najee Harris comes into play, a young and dynamic runner who seems to be the solution to the problems plaguing the Texas team. Rumors spread like a wildfire in midsummer, fueled by speculation that the Steelers could be willing to negotiate with the Cowboys. There is talk of a possible trade that would send Harris to Dallas in exchange for a fourth-round pick in the 2025 draft. Could this be the bold move that propels the Cowboys to the coveted Super Bowl under the energetic leadership of Jerry Jones? However, in the competitive world of the NFL, opinions are divided. Some experts argue that Harris could simply represent a temporary solution to the deeper issues plaguing the Cowboys. Additionally, legitimate concerns arise about Harris's future performance, with voices suggesting that he may reach his physical peak sooner than expected. Nevertheless, it is impossible to ignore Harris's impressive track record with the Steelers. As the first player in team history to reach the 1,000-yard mark in each of his first three seasons, Harris has proven to be a reliable and productive runner. With his best season to date in 2023 and glimpses of even greater potential, the question persists, will Najee Harris be the missing piece in the Cowboys puzzle? 
The future of this emerging NFL star is more uncertain than ever, and Cowboys fans hold their breath, eager to unravel the destiny that awaits them. DK Metcalf in the sights of the Steelers to bolster their aerial attack. The Pittsburgh Steelers, a team with a rich history in the NFL and a tradition of excellence, are immersed in the quest to reinforce their aerial game for the upcoming season. In this regard, they have set their sights on DK Metcalf, a rising star from the Seattle Seahawks, as the primary target to achieve this goal. After securing Roman Wilson in the latest NFL draft, the Steelers are stepping up their efforts to strengthen their depth at the wide receiver position, exploring various options in the free agent market and potential trades. Among the names that have emerged in preliminary discussions are Brandon Ayuk and Cortland Sutton, players with standout abilities, but so far, negotiations have not reached a successful conclusion. However, interest in Metcalf has gained momentum, despite the significant challenges his acquisition presents. The Steelers have faced considerable financial obstacles, given the salary cap situation and the Seahawks' reluctance to part ways with one of their most talented and promising players. Reports suggest that the Steelers have been in touch with Metcalf and his representative in an attempt to progress negotiations, but so far, they have encountered difficulties in reaching a satisfactory agreement for both parties. However, with the urgent need to bolster their core of wide receivers following Deontay Johnson's departure, the Steelers are determined to make a bold move in the market and are willing to explore all available options to achieve it. Steelers general manager Omar Khan has made it clear that they are committed to improving the team in every possible area, and the recent restructuring of Alex Highsmith's contract has provided the necessary financial flexibility to pursue a high-profile target like Metcalf. The young receiver's ability to threaten in the deep game and his strong connection with quarterbacks make him an extremely attractive option for the Steelers' offense, and despite the financial challenges and the Seahawks' resistance, the team is determined to make a concerted effort to acquire his services. The possibility of seeing DK Metcalf donning the Pittsburgh Steelers' uniform is exciting for fans, who are eager to see how negotiations unfold in the coming weeks. Will Metcalf be the next big signing for the Steelers? The answer is up in the air, but one thing is certain, the Steelers are willing to do whatever it takes to make this exciting move in the NFL trade market a reality and strengthen their aerial attack for the upcoming season. And thus concludes this thrilling episode of the NFL market. From Pittsburgh to Dallas, last-minute news is shaking the world of American football. But what do you think about these bold moves? Are you excited about the potential arrival of DK Metcalf to the Steelers? Or do you think Najee Harris would be the perfect piece for the Cowboys? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any updates, like if you enjoyed this content, and share it with your football-loving friends. The transfer season is in full swing, and we want you to be part of the conversation.